it's me, Diego. I'm currently kneeling in my bathroom downstairs because, well, I'm too tall and it's really loud upstairs, so I'm down here. I just finished editing a video for the 3200 time trial that I did today, and I was able to, in the process of that, actually recover some footage from a mile time trial I did back on April 14th. So um, here it is. So this was the first time trial we did, so it was kind of shaky. But here's the start. I started from the back from the mile line, and then crossed that finish line, and then you know was on my way. We tried to have a pacer. My dad was on his bike; didn't really work um, at first because he needed more time to accelerate and shift his gears. And once eventually he is able to pass me, but I did spend a good portion of that first lap yelling at him. Once he finally did pass me, he went too fast, so my splits for this were really inconsistent. I'm sure, as you've probably already noticed, I am not wearing spikes, and you might think, oh, this is, you know, this kid just doesn't wear spikes. No, trust me, I do wear spikes, usually. I forgot the reason why I don't have spikes for this video. I think I was wearing the next percents because probably, I don't know. Anyway. I was an idiot. I wore next percents for a mile. Old next percents too. It was miserable. I didn't really feel like I could get up on my toes at all and fully extend. Um, I'm pretty. I believe we come through the the 409 technically in about 104, 105. And this is actually what my goal pace is for the mile. And for the mile, I want to get like you know. 421 and then for the 1600 I really want to break 420 by the end of the spring and this was just a good starting point again like I said in the 32 I like creating variables that I can change guarantee that like almost guarantee that I can go faster and I know now that I, if I put on my spikes I can go faster because the next percents in this video they were just terrible so now we're coming up to about the 700 meter mark or the 709 meter mark technically and the pacing bike, so his app, I think he was trying to use Strava to pace isn't working at all. So we're going very inconsistent. And for whatever reason, I decided just to follow him wholeheartedly. We come through the 809 and about 210 or so, which is, you know, exactly where I want to go. And naturally, most as most people know, in the miles slash 1600, depending on which one you're doing, your third lap is usually your slowest, and that's exactly what happens here. We slow down extensively. I don't know why. He's on a bike. I don't know why I followed him. Maybe I slow down. Anyway, we're done using bikes as pacers. It just doesn't work for me. I do a lot better by myself. But I believe we're going to come through. So now we're at the 1,000, and we've already come off pace a lot. I think that last 200 was about a 36 or a 35 high, and that's not where we want to be. I'm pretty sure this quarter, there's my friends running by, don't worry, I stayed six feet away from them the entire time, ends up being about a 112, and then I end up closing in like a 108 or a 109. But by now, I'm kind of upset because I'm confused like why he's going slower on the bike and I'm the next percents, and I've, it just doesn't work because I'm trying to go fast. And, you know, naturally, there's a lot of lactic acid on my body because I don't really taper for time trials. And I just can't feel like I, you know, when I push back on the track, I don't feel like I'm getting as much force back as I would if I had spikes on. And my form also is now gradually going <laughs> south, I suppose. I mean, it's hard to see because this video is actually shot on, like, an iPhone 6 because this was before we had, you know, before we were able to make our time trial time, rec we're still we're actually really not that efficient because in our 32, we missed an entire lap. But at least we had a better phone filming that. This is an iPhone 6, so it's really hard for me to tell. But I can visibly tell that I'm kind of heel striking and almost pulling on the ground. I'm definitely leaning forward depending on when I'm going into the wind because there is, there's always wind here. I think it's north to south, probably maybe five miles. So not too bad, but still noticeable. So I lean forward in the wind 
but I really need look at my arms right now. They're not where they're they're not very orderly. They're just kind of throwing all over the place, and yeah, that was pretty painful. But it was a good start. Four thirty one four one for the full mile. Four twenty nine eight three for the sixteen hundred. And an indoor, I ran a four forty one sixteen hundred. So that was about a twelve second PR from my indoor PR, which is pretty good. And it's not where I need to be by the end of the year, which is, you know, for the 1600, sub 420 for the mile, sub 421. But it's a good start, and I can definitely cut down those nine seconds. Thank you for watching.